Hey there, Shauna from Skip Blast here. Uh, up on the next video now on picking a domain name uh, for anyone who is interested in you know just getting started and getting into making your own blogs or your own niche sites. I uh, just want to go over the important you know points of what I think you need to know before you go out and buy that first domain name for your brand new website. All right, let's dive on in. Okay, so when you are ready to buy that domain, you know, you're gonna end up on the registrar page. You're gonna see a ton of options. You're probably already gonna know things like .com, .net, and .org. And now you may be tempted to go for a TLD that is on sale. Often that's gonna be things like .me, .online, uh, .xyz. You know, they always have those super cheap introductory prices, so you may think, oh, I'll just try this. I'm gonna caution you against that, though, um, because if at all possible, you definitely want to go for a .com domain name. Um, not only are these just like the most common, you know, TLD out there, but whenever you tell someone your website, you know, they're just going to assume that it is a .com. So that's why you really want to make sure that you have the .com of whatever, you know, site it is that you're going to start. That way when people, you know, are like, you know, entering in your domain name, you know, in Google, they actually end up on your site instead of someone else who already got the .com before you did. So that's why I always advise that when you're starting a new site, uh, you definitely secure the .com instead of any other fancy, you know, TLDs or any, you know, super cheap TLDs. Now, there is one exception to this. If you are creating a site or a blog where you intend on targeting a market other than the United States, um, it's probably going to benefit you then to go for the local TLD. So if you're in Canada, that could be the .ca. Uh, if you're in the UK, that's going to be something like the .co.uk. Otherwise, pretty much 100% of the time, you're going to be best served going for the .com. Okay, now that you know what you're looking for is the .com, you might be thinking, okay, like what else do I need to know to make sure I make you know a smart choice when getting my new domain? Um, so the first thing I want to caution you against is going for an EMD or an exact match domain. Now, you know, when I first started making sites back in 2009, uh, actually, honestly, earlier was when I actually started, but I had a day job at the time. But when I went full time, you know, in 2009 here, you could rank sites super quickly if you were going for EMDs, right? And EMDs were things like bestgolfclubs.com or uh, golfclubreviews.com. And then Google basically made some changes to the way the algorithms work so that you you no longer get quite the same boost that you used to get when you got EMDs. That's not to say that you don't still get a boost from EMDs. Um, even though you do still get that small boost though, I still want to caution you against it because it really handicaps you in terms of growing your site and expanding it. For instance, if you were to register something like bestgolfclubs.com, you're gonna really be limited in what you can write about. Obviously, it's gonna just be the best golf clubs, right? Um, so that's why we really don't wanna go for EMDs. Um, for me personally, what I always advise people to do as well as what I do for my own sites is I really focus on getting a niche relevant keyword in that domain. Um, I prefer to have it as the first word, but I can't always find a domain that meets my needs with that niche relevant keyword as the first word. And I know what you might be thinking, oh, I can, I can get around that by using a hyphen or something like that. Definitely do not do that. Um, you know, if someone tells you their domain name, you're, you're not going to assume there's a hyphen, right? And that's most people. So that's why you definitely do not want a hyphen in your domain name. It's also important to avoid trademarked brand names. Um, not only can the brand come after you and, and force you basically to give up your domain, but it can make it incredibly difficult for you to sell your site if you want to do so in the future because you are, you know, using that trademarked name, you know, in your domain name. So definitely avoid that. Uh, so for my sites, what I like to do is I, you know, I get that niche relevant keyword as well as one other word. I'm a big fan of two word domains, uh, not only because I think you should always strive to keep your domain name short. Um, but basically, I feel like it just is like catchier, right? If, if you can say that you only have, you know, two names in your domain name. A great example of this in the site building industry are the authority hacker guys, right? Two words, authority hacker, perfect, right? Um, so you can see here on the screen, a screenshot from my Namecheap account. 
and it's for the domain cosmicbrewery.com. This is actually a domain name that I won in an online Twitter contest from cuppa.sh, which is an amazing AI tool that I'm using uh, for some of my sites. Um, and as you can tell, I'm sure by this domain name, um, this domain was previously used uh, by basically a beer brewer uh, located in Southern California, I believe is where it was. Um, but what I like about this domain, well, I mean, of course, the, the main thing I like about it is that it was free for me, right? Um, since I did win it. But what I really like about it is it does have brewery in that domain name. So I have my niche relevant keyword and then just another random word. So I got a two word domain and it has that niche relevant keyword. This is exactly the type of domain that I would buy if I was starting a new site myself. And like I said, I did win this domain name uh, on Twitter. Uh, and I'm going to be developing this site out, you know, as a, like a public live case study. Uh, depending on when you're, you know, watching this video, I uh, may already have content up on the site. Uh, so feel free to, to check in on that, uh, you know, as, as time progresses here to see how it goes for me. So the hardest part I find when coming up with a domain name for your site is actually coming up with that domain name, right? Because you want it to be brandable. Um, you want it to be catchy, short if possible, have that niche relevant keyword in it, um, and just like be a great domain name that's not already taken, right? Um, and of course, you know, there are tons of existing sites and, and domains that are already registered, so it can be a real challenge to hit upon a domain name that is actually available for you to register. Now, this is something that I come up against time and time again when I'm starting a new site. Um, and for me personally, you know, I always just start kind of brainstorming on my own, thinking of like cool names that I think would make a great uh, website name. Uh, most of the time they're completely taken, so I have zero shot, you know, at getting those domain names. And when I, you know, come up against that, what I, what I always do 100% of the time is I go over to leandomainsearch.com and I put in that main keyword that I want to be in my domain and I let Lean Domain Search tell me what is available for me. Um, this is a completely free to use site, so if you've never used it, I highly recommend it. Like I said, I use it all the time when I'm creating my own sites. Um, and I'll just show you real quick over in my Chrome browser here how this particular website works. So you can see here on the Lean Domain Search website um, that this, this site is actually owned by Automatic, which are the people who are behind WordPress. Um, so you know it's like a crazy high quality site, right? Because uh, it, it is, like I said, made by the people who make WordPress. Um, so when you get to the main page here, what I always do is I put in my, my niche keyword that I want in the domain. Uh, they give you great examples here. So we'll just click on one of those and I'll show you what the results look like. Okay, so if I was going to start a coffee website and I just put in coffee, these are the types of results that it would give me. Now for me personally, I prefer having my niche related keyword as the first word in the domain. So you can actually sort, uh, you know, all of these things here on the results. So if you want things that are most popular, if you're looking for the shortest thing, if you want it just all alphabetical, you can certainly do that. Uh, but what I like to do here is I like to have it start with the things where all of the domain ideas that it gives me start with my niche keyword. Um, so, you know, I would just kind of go through here if I was starting a coffee website, that is, and look for something that really popped to me. And as you can see here, like coffee online is telling me that the dot com is not available, um, but it is showing me that the dot blog is available. Again, definitely do not go for a dot blog if you can help it. Uh, you do want to try to get the dot com if at all possible. Um, so like, let's see, let's say, let's assume I was starting a coffee website, right? So I'm just going to go through here and, and actually, honestly, I really like this coffeeintegrity.com. That would be a pretty great slide if I wanted to do like real, you know, hands-on reviews of, of coffee, you know, like coffee makers, frothers, things like that. That would be a great domain name for that. And then you can just like click on the .com here and it'll take you to register the site. Um, it looks like it's going to take you to WordPress, which I definitely do not want you to register your domain on WordPress.com. In just a moment, I will tell you the best places to register your domain. Um, but basically, you can see what domain names are available right here. And honestly, you can get a lot of really great ideas from this website. Okay, now that you've used either your brain or lean domain search, you probably have like that perfect domain name, you know, the one that you are ready to pull the trigger on, you're ready to register it, get started with that website. So where do you buy your domain name, right? There are tons of options out there. 
um, everywhere from the place where you get your web hosting to GoDaddy um, to Namecheap, NameSilo, tons of places, tons of places um, are selling domain names. E even WordPress.com was, which we just saw uh, when looking for coffee domain ideas on Lean Domain Search. Um, like I said, I've been building websites for a long time and I've used a lot of different domain name registrars. And I can tell you based on my own experience, hands down, the absolute worst place for you to buy your domain name from is GoDaddy. You know, they always have these coupons and these deals where you get a, a reasonably cheap, you know, buy-in for that first year, uh, but they charge a fortune for privacy protection when tons of places give it to you for free. But where they really hurt you is when you go to renew that domain. It's going to be so expensive, definitely not worth your time. For me, my two favorite places to register domain names are Namecheap and NameSilo. The prices are pretty comparable between the two and they both give you that free privacy protection. No matter where you choose to buy your domain name from, definitely make sure that you're getting that privacy protection for free because I want you to get the best deal, right? Um, I'll include links down below in the description to both Namecheap and NameSilo so that you can see if, if there's one of them that you want you know, to use to run and register your domain. Now, I do find that Namecheap tends to run like promos monthly where you can get a pretty good discount on a .com. They seem to have like this evergreen discount as well for first time buyers. Um, so like, I think it's like $6 or so for a domain name if you use that coupon code. So I would definitely check out Namecheap first. If you can't get a good deal on it, then try NameSilo. In the next video, we're actually gonna discuss website hosting. Um, and so I won't cover everything about that today, but I do wanna let you know that most website hosts you know, they do give you one free domain name registration when you sign up. Uh, the catch is that you only get that domain name for free for the very first year. Uh, some of these web hosts, they really jack up the price on you when it's time to renew. Some don't. Uh, based on my experience, SiteGround is really the only place where I would even consider getting that free domain with sign up. Um, if you're interested in that, I'll drop that link down below as well. Although I do caution you to hold off until we discuss to discuss website hosting in the next video, uh, because I don't want you to make any mistakes with who you choose to host your website with. And if you've heard about premium age domains, you might be thinking about registering one of those for your new website. However, if you are a beginner, I do caution you against this. Uh, because not only are premium age domains a lot more expensive than just doing a fresh registration at Namecheap or something like that, um, but sometimes like if you don't really know what you're doing, you can end up overpaying for a domain that's not really that good at all. Um, there are also instances where a domain name looks you know, completely clean and you think you're getting a great age domain and then it just doesn't perform well at all. Um, so that's really why I caution beginners against going for a premium age domain for their website, um, simply because there, there's too many things that can go wrong with it. Um, but if you do want some more training on age domains, I actually do have that available for you. Um, so if you, you know, want to check out bloggingsuccessengine.com, that is my membership program. It starts at just $39 a month right now. It includes every course I have ever created in it, including one on age domains. Um, so you, you're welcome to check that out if you want some of that training or any other type of training that you may want right now. Otherwise, go ahead, you know, subscribe to this channel, click that bell button so you get notified because the next video that I'm gonna be publishing in this series it's going to discuss everything that I think you need to know when you are choosing the perfect website host for your new site. Uh, you know, I've used tons of different website hosts, you know, in the time that I've been building sites. Some have been real stinkers and some have been amazing. Um, so I want to make sure that you are getting the very best website host for your new site from day one.